This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today I'm going to talk about how cortisone or steroid shots work. And just to be clear, this is different. There's two different types of steroids. There's anabolic steroids and there's catabolic steroids. Anabolic steroids are what the uh, bodybuilders use legally to gain extra muscle or people will use in sports. That's not the steroid we're talking about. We're talking about corticosteroids, whereas if you have joint or muscle pain, sometimes you'll see your doctor and they say, we're going to give you a steroid shot. That's the shot I'm talking about. So the question is how they work. So uh, the corticosteroid is a really, really strong anti-inflammatory, kind of like Advil or Motrin, but even stronger. It's a sort of a, it's a different class, uh, the steroid class. And usually when a doc gives you an injection, what they'll do is they'll mix the steroid um, with lidocaine or some sort of numbing agent. Um, the, the main reason to do, there's two reasons we do that. One is that if we mix uh, numbing medications such as lidocaine in there, it gives us some diagnostic certainty. So if I give you the injection somewhere and you get immediate relief, we know A, that's likely the problem, and B, that the shot was in the right place. Um, and then usually what happens is the numbing medication wears off, and then, but the, and then the steroid works about two days later. So sometimes there's a gap between the numbing medic feels good, numbing medication wears off, steroid kicks in and starts feeling good again. Uh, the second reason is we can't pump a ton of steroids into somebody. So we use a smaller amount and the lidocaine or numbing agent just helps spread that around. So if we're injecting in a knee or a shoulder, the lidocaine helps spread that steroid around. But basically how they work is once they're in a joint or a space, and most of our injections are in spaces, whether it's uh, you know the, the subacromial space or shoulder bursitis or you know the shoulder joint or the hip joint or the knee joint or ankle joint, uh, they work by just decreasing the inflammation. So we used to think that arthritis was just wear and tear, but as it turns out, there's some sort of inflammatory component to that, and we're learning more about that as time goes on. But these steroids basically act as very potent anti-inflammatories and better than the ones you just take orally because they go, the, the, go, those go to the whole body. This one just goes to one specific spot where the really strong uh, response. So basically, it's like taking an anti-inflammatory, but just right to where you need it in a much stronger spot. And sometimes in some areas, it, uh, when you should decrease that inflammation, it allows you to do exercises and get your biomechanics righted, and then the pain doesn't come back. In other areas, like let's say the knee, if you have knee arthritis, it's not going to cure that arthritis. It may just give you some temporary pain relief on the orders of months to possibly years. It just depends on the person. Most people get on the order of six months of relief, but some people get a year and some people don't get any. So that's basically how a steroid works. It's a steroid, a lidocaine or a numbing agent, and you inject it in, really strong anti-inflammatory to wherever it goes, and there's really not too much more to it than that. Um, I hope I was able to answer your questions about how uh, corticosteroid uh, shots work. If you have any questions uh, I didn't answer, feel free to leave your comments below, and I'll do my best to respond. Please note that I can't give medical advice through this YouTube channel um, or to your specific condition. Um, if you like this video, we put out new content every week, so please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.